Hi, this is Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. Welcome to my all of my factory reset videos for a desktop pavilion, a, a HP desktop pavilion, P7-1234. Again, that is not a mistake. The last few numbers is 1234. Uh, it's weird. Uh, basically, um, basically, make sure you back up all your pictures, your music, or whatever is important to you on your desktop to a separate drive, flash drive. This method will wipe everything off. Like if your computer is running slow, if you have any virus issues, this will clear clear most of the, clear all those issues. Okay. Um, basically, it. Okay, just make sure you backed up your pictures, your documents, that is important to you before you perform this method because it will be wiped out. Okay, uh, basically uh, make sure your desktop is completely turned off. And if you turn it off, and make sure it's completely off, then you want to power it up. As soon as you power it up, you want to tap F11. Until the load screen comes up. Like that, stop tapping. Okay, you want to go to System Recovery, click that. I recommend, as I said, I recommend not do the recommendation. Uh, you, but you're, or you're, if you, unless you have, as I said, do you want to put it on your flash drive or your pictures or anything that's important, do that for that. Um, go ahead and you can click, if, go ahead and click the uh, Recover without backing up your files. So that way you have nothing on there but the HP operates the HP Windows 7 operating system and after that just click next this is essentially what's going to happen to your computer and all that stuff and just click OK and click OK and let it let it go Okay, after that's done, pretty much the restoration is complete. Click finish. Let it reboot normal. Okay, at this point, you want to make sure everything is correct. Like your basic country and region, time of and currency and keyboard layout, make sure it's all correct to you. And just click next. Enter your name of your choosing. I'm going to enter order because this is a customer laptop or computer desktop. Click next. Password is not required. If you want to put a password, go ahead and put one in. But you don't have to. Just click next. Accept both license agreements. 
click next click use recommended settings make sure your time zone is correct if we're going further do, 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 do. looking for the time zone Scott's Peter Repair. Stupid telemarketers. Uh, check your, uh, make sure your date and time is correct also. So, yeah, you already, so just, just make sure. And click next. If you have a Wi Fi network, click it. Enter your pass key, security key. Only you might find it on the router or modem. Really? And if you're done with that, just click, if you don't have one, just click skip. But go ahead and click next if you've got it done. Select home network. If you have a file sharing going on, you enter your home group password. If not, just click skip. If you do, after you enter it, just click next. But click skip if you don't have one. Go ahead and click get started. Go ahead and enter your register information if you want. If not, just go ahead and click register later. This is an Norton antivirus. Make sure you set the agreement. It's not by choice. Uh, basically, if you want, just go ahead. Uh, you can uninstall it later after you're done. Do this. Maybe hold on here. No, oh, no. Just go back. All right. Just go ahead and just click accept the license agreement, and you go ahead. These options. And click I accept these options. Just go ahead and click exit on that. And pretty much that's it. That's how to do a perform a factory reset on an HP Pavilion P7-1234. Um, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it's helpful and everything else. Please like and subscribe to me if it was helpful. Uh, just make sure to do your updates if, ever, if you want to perform your... I still want to keep Windows 7 on here. Uh, perform your updates and all. Make sure you get all that done. And that's pretty much it for this video. I appreciate you watching it. Thank you. Please subscribe and like. Have a good day.